it's everything I've ever dreamed of. So there's that. <laughs> Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am really excited. It has been so long since I've filmed. I'm so sorry. Um, normally I post videos weekly. Life has just been a little hectic lately. I know it's no excuse but that is what has been going on. Just life in general. So um, I am really excited to sit down and just play with some new makeup today with you all. This is going to be kind of a get ready with me playing with new makeup and yeah just kind of hanging out so if you're interested in trying out some new makeup with me just keep on watching all right so brows done check um eyelids are primed i prime my eyelids with some concealer so they are good to go and i set them with some um, brightening banana powder that's just kind of what my go-to has been lately so that's what we're at now first things first we're going to go in to some eyeshadow actually I heard so many good things about this um, e.l.f. Natural Glow Lotion from Nicole Cutler, um, Nicole Renee here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. She is one of my all-time favorite beauty YouTubers. She is just, she seems like she's just very genuine and like she would be someone that we could just be best friends and hang out and play with makeup all day. But <laughs> she continuously recommends the e.l.f. Glow Lotion as a primer so i am going to be using this today i did already prime my face with um the smashbox primer water as well as uh, the touch and soul no pore blum primer to really even out any texture and whatnot and this is going to be for more of like a hydrating and a bit of a glow because my skin has been really dry and just dull lately so hopefully this will help me out so it looks like that it just looks like a lotion kind of like a skin colored lotion it doesn't look too glittery really so that's a plus Ooh, it smells really good Yeah, it really just adds a bit of like a natural glow like it's not shimmery or glittery or anything like I don't see really any on my hands so I like that I feel like that is really really nice I need a roll up my sleeves you guys Whew, it's hot in here okay so for eyeshadow have a couple options I'm really debating I don't know I uh, recently got this persona color theory eye kit uh, the copper one and then also um, in my boxy charm the ace beauty beaut don't know um, the ace beauty uh, grandiose palette and I mean it looks pretty stunning like I can't even lie. So I guess we're gonna go in with the Ace Beauty, or uh, Beaut, I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. Um, the Grandiose Palette, I mean, it looks stunning. Um, I have swatched it and played with it a little bit, but I haven't actually put it on to my eyeballs. So that's what we're gonna do. And it's just gonna be probably a warm, smoky eye, cause that's just who I am. That's who I am as a person. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Oh. All right, so I'm going in um, just with a big fluffy blending brush. This is actually um, from Alamar Cosmetics. We've received those brushes and I think a BoxyCharm um, a few months back. And these are amazing. Like if you have not tried them, I recommend it. I'm going to go in with the first. Um, it's just like that nude um, shade and just kind of put that all over my eye. It's called Patchouli. And I put it, give like an even base for everything. I did already set my concealer, but Sometimes I still do this anyway. Quite a bit of um, fallout with that, but that's something that doesn't bother me. We're going in with these clips. And I have had some people ask me about these clips and I purchased them at Sally's and I highly recommend them. They are, um, they just keep everything back and I mean, they don't move so. And I have super thick hair, so. If you do too, then it work for you too. Don't look at my nails. I feel like I say that in every video, but please, <sighs> these are repainted. So for the next shade, I'm going to go in, um, same brush, the, this big fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade um, Cinnamon right here, which is kind of a, just a really warm orangey brown. That is really pigmented. We're putting that all on the crease. Like you don't need much at all. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. 
literally like you need like the smallest amount and it blends out just like a dream. I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and go in with the shade Poppy right there and I'm going to focus that more. I'm not going to really blow it out as much. I'm going to try to focus it more like kind of on the outer like in the crease. Just I'm not trying to get like too into the center with it. This looks like a gorgeous like wine shade like I really like that. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to go in with that first blending brush with nothing else on it though and just kind of start to kind of make, blend it in to the other shade a little bit to make it not as harsh. I'm going to actually kind of start bringing it in like just a little bit. Kind of obsessed with this shade. Like just like the perfect kind of like cranberry holiday. You know what I mean? Like. Christmas like it's giving me life so I'm gonna go in with my sultry palette I wanted like a deeper shade to kind of deepen up the outer portion of the eye like a little bit of uh, dystopian kind of work that onto the outer outer V just for some more like dimension I go in with like a smaller, like a smaller, smaller blending brush. This is a Morphe M506 and start kind of flicking that brown shade in a little bit. Go back in now with that poppy shade, um, that really pretty like wine shade and a little bit more back into that really like that um it really looks kind of like a like a chocolate raspberry like color that's just kind of the vibes that it's giving me and I, i'm not gonna cut the crease today what i am gonna do is just add like a shimmer on top i got a couple of these jcat um Priz metals um, I got one in the shade, it's called the Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse. I got one in the shade Forest Night and then one in the shade Chrome Galaxy. Um, forest Night is like a greenish or a green, like a forest green. And then Chrome Galaxy is like a chrome color. So, oh, I've never felt anything like that before. That's nuts. I wonder if that would, ooh, yes, honey. We're going to apply this with our finger. Gosh, this is... Oh my gosh. This is freaking stunning. Why have I not tried these yet until now? I'm putting it all over the lid. This is beautiful. I can just imagine this like all over the lid for just like a super quick look. It would probably look like you really spent like so much time on it but <laughs> i need these in every single color available please and thank you this is seriously like look at it it has like kind of a putty looking like consistency i don't know but it's everything i've ever dreamed of so there's that so i'm gonna take a little bit of that um red shade again and tap it on the outer v that was like so easy too. Oh my gosh. You see it? You see it? Oh. Okay, weird. Anyways, so the eyeball is done. Let's add some liner. Um, this is the Cover Girl Liquid Liner. I don't know. I forgot the name of it. Um, it's like kind of a weird shaped bottle. I don't know. It looks like it's like a felt tip liquid liner. So we're going to try it out. I know I shouldn't pull my eye, but I do. Wow. Okay. Literally the easiest line I've ever done in my life. Like, that was amazing. Okay, yeah, this was super easy to work with and I really like it. Let's clean up this under my eyes. I did get like a little bit of glitter fallout there. And I'm kind of like rounding out my eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm kind of liking like the rounder look on my shadows lately. 
rather than like the wing like i don't know i just like how that looks it's really freaking pretty like i don't ever want to take this off okay so now that i have anything new for foundation i am going to go ahead and apply that off camera just because it's not new <laughs> um, but i am going to be trying out the juno co um velvet sponge so i will let you know whenever i get back on how i like that so yeah i'm gonna go do that and then i'll be right back okay so i am back with my foundation on i ended up using um the huda beauty faux filter foundation and the maybelline fit me dewy and smooth because since my skin has been more dry i still do want full coverage but i need to add a little bit something with like a glow and a little bit of dew to it so that i don't look just crazy dry and flat and just dull so then i do want to say that this sponge is amazing like I will say that it dries really quick like even you know I had to go back in there and like re-wet it but I mean it really applies your foundation so full coverage like more full coverage than than it normally is like I just I felt like it did really really well so I will definitely be reaching for this sponge again really really like that okay so next is going to be concealer i have two different ones and i really hope and pray that one will work like shade wise i have already tried this the jouet the jouet essential high coverage liquid concealer and oh my gosh i instantly fell in love you guys like i'm talking this is the best concealer i've ever tried and i don't say that lightly i've tried so many concealers this is phenomenal like i can't get over it i really really can't so if you've not tried this yet i just really highly recommend it it's it has the coverage of tarte shape tape but it has more hydration um it is formulated with hyaluronic acid so i feel like it adds just a little bit of hydration under your eyes whereas you know sometimes the shape tape can be a little bit on the drying side so i just really really like this it is amazing and then i also recently got the bare minerals fair skin complete coverage serum concealer in the shade medium and um i've heard really good things from ally blinds she's another youtuber i will also link her channel down below and i've just heard a lot of good things about it that it's it's kind of a more lightweight formula but it still like has good coverage so um she really just really raves about this so i wanted to try it myself and it was recently on sale at ulta so why not you know so let me see what i think shade wise and i haven't been going for like for a super light concealer lately like most of the time you know i'd go about two shades um two to even maybe three shades lighter than my foundation um to really add just so much brightness but lately i've been going more geared towards closer to my skin color like my foundation shade all right i guess we'll try the um bare minerals bare skin concealer in medium um just because i think this is going to be a better shade for me right now the um jouet one i have the shade cream brulee and that's normally for when i'm self tan and right now i am not at all so and i do have actually another one <laughs> Completely forgot about um, the Makeup Revolution Fast Face Concealer. So I do want to try that. I'm going to add a little bit of that on top. I know that this one's not like supposed to be super full coverage at all. So I'm going to actually blend this out with um, another new thing. It's the Morphe Sponge. I've never tried this. I've had it for quite some time. I'm trying to try it. So. I really like the sponge, first of all, like, I really like those concealers together. I don't know exactly. <laughs> Sorry that I don't really know which one is, like, I don't really know which one I'm, you know, liking the most because I did apply it too. They seem to be adding, like, a nice glow, like, under my eyes. Like, I don't know. Like, it looks very kind of, like, dewy, and I really like that. I've never really, like, tried a concealer like, like, I've tried, you know, like more hydrating ones like the Jouer, but this actually adds like a glow. Like it's, it looks dewy. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh, yes. I love finding products that work. <laughs> like I get so nervous about trying to make makeup on camera because I'm like, what if this sucks? And then I have to talk badly about it because I'm never gonna lie. You know, I'm always gonna be honest, but it's like, I feel bad. But 
what can you do, you know? So I have a few new setting powders, actually. I have two from Catrice. One is the Light Illusion Loose Powder. Um, it's yellow, it's like the brightening one. Um, so it's like a loose powder. And then I have the Catrice Pronifine Mattifying, Mattifying, <laughs> Mattifying Powder, um, waterproof and it's transparent. So I think, I guess I'm gonna go in with the mattifying powder, um, like the translucent one. And, okay, so that powder definitely mattified that a lot. And now I wish I wouldn't have done that. It's definitely very mattifying. So for now, like how my skin is kind of, crazy dry. I don't think I'm going to be reaching for that super often. I think that may be more of like a summer product, but I mean, it did what it said it was going to do. So I can't really get too mad about that. And let's see, I really want to try this. Um, the, I've got the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. I really want to use this to set like all over the face actually let's go ahead and do the lower lash line so back into the palettes so I recently got these um little this little luxie brush set and i think it was another boxy charm <laughs> i feel like i talk about boxy charm a lot but i have it i love it not sponsored i just i love boxy charm so um yeah it's like these three little eye brushes and oh my gosh they're perfect for just like really precision stuff like for example, blowing out your lower lash line, um, inner corner highlight, brow bone highlight. Like these are just amazing and they're so cute. Like they're just gold and sparkly and I love them. Okay, so if you hear something right now, it is the recycling people. It's Morphe M432 and I'm gonna take that poppy shade, which is that like wine colored shade and put that like kind of stamp it on the lower lash line and then back into the sultry palette for that brown shade again that's um dystopian we're stamping that on top of that red shade or maroon shade and then we're gonna blow it all out so i'm gonna always um aim to like have my lower lash line meet my you know upper shades like right there so i that's why I always use like a flat brush like this because it's so easy to really define it. All right, and now to blow these out, I'm going in with this Luxie 121 mini tapered brush. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. Okay, so let's go in now with some contour after I'm taking a sip of cold coffee. <laughs> Okay, I am going in. I have tried this, but it is a new product that I recently got. So it is the Catrice Prime and Fine Professional Con Professional Contouring Palette, um, and this is in the Ashy Radiance version. All right, I'm going to take this Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush and not use it for foundation, and use it for contouring. Um, I'm going to take that a uh, bronzer contour shade and start really carving out. It's definitely not like overly pigmented, which is good. Like, you know, especially for some people just starting out trying to figure out how to contour um, because it really, I mean, as you can see, it's like it's pigmented enough, but it's not super pigmented to where like you're going to be able to go. I mean, you probably can go overboard with it, but it'll be a little more difficult to do that. So I cannot believe it's almost Christmas, you guys. I've done zero shopping, um, so that's really great. It is, what, the sixth, seventh? Yeah, it's the seventh. Um, and yeah, I've done absolutely no Christmas shopping. Nothing new there whatsoever. I am the queen of procrastinating at every possible thing in life, so. I do want to go in with this Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. And it does look like it has some shimmer in it, so it kind of makes me nervous. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in, I guess, with the same brush that I set my face with, the Aesthetica P12. It's just really big and fluffy. And pressing it into the skin. I'm not going to put it under my eyes. Um, it already has enough powder. I don't want it to look cakey. I really actually like that. Like it didn't, it didn't add like really any like shimmer. It just looks more glowy. 
I really, really like that. Wow, I really wanna add some brightness to my eyes. So I'm going to go in with this Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener in the shade Stella. Um, I've never tried Thrive Cosmetics. I've really been wanting to. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about them. We got this in our last FabFitFun box. So I was really excited to try this out. So it looks like just a really pretty like champagne shade. Take this and kind of put it on the inner. It honestly, I don't think it did much. Like it's really pretty. I think it's just because I prefer something more bold you know as my inner corner highlight so i mean this may be pretty i mean just for like an everyday maybe all over the eye or something or just like for your brow bone i really like the color of it but it's just not as blinding as i prefer for my inner corner highlight so okay we're going to go in with this uh, rimmel london scandalized waterproof cold gel pencil i love this i haven't used it before and this is in the shade 005 nude I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer. Um, I feel like I need a little more like warmth. Okay, so we're gonna go in with our Smashbox Primer Water. This really kind of melts everything together before I apply um, blush and highlight. So let's go ahead and do that. I have a handy dandy fan. Isn't that so cute? This makes a whole makeup process so much quicker. For highlight, I have three options. I'm going to try the Persona Cosmetics Cali Glow Highlighter in the shade Zuma. Oh honey, she's pretty. I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro 18 brush. It's a little powdery, but... Ooh. Holy... Yeah, this is um not for the faint of highlight. <laughs> so if you want something natural, this is not it. This is blinding and beautiful. We're going to do a small brush, do our inner corner. Really pretty. It is very powdery, so just keep that in mind. It may have a little bit of fallout. Um, so like I said, keep that in mind. I'm gonna actually take like just a damp sponge and Oh yeah, that's even better. When you kind of blend it in with like a damp sponge, it makes it look a lot less kind of powdery. Ooh, like melt it into the skin a lot better. That's a good little trick for you. I had like three newer blushes that I've not really tried, but none of them are really like, none of them are gonna go with this look. So I'm gonna go with my Milani blush in the shade Blossom Time Rose. It's just like a really pretty kind of neutral pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually set my face, um, like set everything in before I do my lips and mascara. And I'm gonna set it with the, um, this is my current favorite Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Love it so much. Like I was literally in it. I'm just um, cleaning off a foundation, maybe on my lips. I have two different mascaras that I have not tried. Um, one is Drugstore, it's the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. Heard just good things about it and I never tried it, so. And then this is the Ducey, Duque, D-O-U-C-C-E. I don't know. It's called the Punk Volumizer Mascara. So let's see what this one looks like. It's like a matte red and black bottle. Holy cow, that is massive. That's the biggest wand I've ever seen in my life. I kind of want to try this. Hopefully it's good because I'll be really sad. <laughs> yeah, looks like it did something. I mean, I always have like these lashes on the ends that have pretty much a mind of their own. Pretty much always just do whatever they want. So. I mean, I'd say it's pretty volumizing. I'm gonna put the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume on my lower lashes. I really like that mascara. I mean, I feel like it's pretty bold. I may add another layer of that mascara um, to them in a little bit um, after my lips. I've got a few new lip things, products, just got some things, I have a problem, okay, don't come for me, don't at me, I'm addicted to lipstick, okay, I got this little um, Smashbox Next Level Neutrals, 
Kauai's on liquid lip set. I love their liquid lip set. So when this was on sale at Ulta, I had to swipe it up. It was like $25 for five. For five, when normally one is like 20. That's insane to me. Like, do I go more of like the red route, you know? Or is that like too much? All right, we're gonna go with stepping out. All right, I'm going in with my Catrice, uh, my Catrice Lip Foundation Pencil, and this is in the shade, this is in the shade Caramel Blonde to go. It just it looks like it'll be a good nude um, liner color, so. Going with this lip, and again, this is the shade Stepping Out. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming it for you all and just sitting down and playing with some new makeup. It's been so long and it just, it was much needed. So I really love the way this look turned out. I hope you all enjoy it too. I feel like it's just like a really good, kind of a good holiday look too, you know, like going to the Christmas party or going to your living room because that's probably what I'm gonna be doing after. I filmed this so I mean everything was seriously such a hit the only thing I'm not gonna be reaching for anytime soon just due to the fact of how dry my skin is is the Catrice Prime and Fine mattifying powder it's just too matte for my skin right now um, my oily skin is just crazy dehydrated because of the winter weather so that's just something I don't really need right now is something super mattifying but when it comes to summertime that is something i will probably find myself reaching for quite often there were quite a few stars of the show let me just say um the eyeshadow palette for one stunning blended out just phenomenally um the jcat prismetal chrome eye mousse that it just it looks so amazing it did not i did not use any you know glitter glue glitter primer nothing like that i didn't cut the crease nothing like it just this is just simply with my finger on top of the lid like it is amazing i am seriously going to go buy like as many as i can without my husband killing me <laughs> i can just imagine like i said putting one of these all over the lid and just calling it a look you know like people are gonna be like dang she spent so long on her eyeshadow like that looks bomb she looks fancy af and then secretly on the inside you're like girl only spent like two minutes but they don't have to know that okay that's our secret <laughs> that is our little secret so um if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up that does help me out a lot to know that you all are enjoying the content that i'm putting out uh, be sure to let me know down below in the comments if there are some other new products or even old products that you want me to try out and give a review on and i would be more than happy to if you are not yet please don't forget to subscribe i would really appreciate that i have like over 500 subscribers now. I think it's just crazy. Um, I seriously thought maybe I would have like 20 at this point. <laughs> so I think it's just insane. Um, so thank you all so much, each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy lives and schedules to watch my videos. I hope that you all really do enjoy them. And yeah, I hope you all are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. So yeah, if you're interested in Hmm. Yeah, if you're interested in, I think I forgot how to talk. Uh. Excuse me. It has the coverage of sh short, <laughs> short tape shape. Okay, I'm trying to take off some cold coffee. <laughs> uh. That was nasty. Get in my